A recap of our big story tonight. We are focusing on the anti-IEBC protests that started off today on a day when there are reports that uh, the, the NASA top leadership has had their security withdrawn. Tonight, Eric Kirai, the government spokesman, saying that is not in fact the case. I'm here with him. We've had him with Sophia, our lead reporter. Opio Wandai also joins me here, as well as Raphael Tuju, who's the Jubilee uh, Party Secretary General. Opio Wandai, I'd like to go to you first because you wanted to respond to what the government spokesman said a little bit earlier regarding security during the protests. Before I get to what the government spokesman was talking about, I need to point out based on what Honorable Tuji was talking about earlier on. I want to uh, make it clear again that uh, these protests, these demonstrations, are not about Raila Odinga, Kalonzo Musioka, or Mudavadi, or Tangola. To trivialize these demonstrations in the manner that Honorable Tuji is attempting to do is really uh, very unfortunate. And uh, the demonstrations are about Kenyans who have got a right to credible, fair, transparent elections. They would still be there even if Raila Odinga or Kaluzo Musioka were not on the ballot. So that must be made very clear. Secondly, I don't wish to engage in an argument with the government spokesperson. Really, I don't want to. That would really not be fair to him. But uh, I want to say that you don't need to go further than what has happened in this country in the last couple of weeks. To know that the police, National Police Service is slowly accepting to be misused by political forces, largely uh, domiciled in the Jubilee uh, uh, side of the divide. Why do, why do I say so? You will recall that a day before the Supreme Court made their full judgment, hordes of marauding people rioted up to the Supreme Court gate, almost broke the, brought, brought down the Supreme Court gate, harassed travelers and people who are going about their businesses along Nakuru, Naivasha, Nairobi Highway, disrupted businesses, and there was no single tear gas canister thrown at them. Just yesterday, we saw again hordes of marauding people demonstrating in various parts of Kiambu County. Again, this purported uh, remarks by uh, one legislator. And there was no single policeman on site to disperse them. So it's clear that the police are very happy. They are, very, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are more than happy to come in and disrupt peaceful demonstrations organized by NASA. All right, let's have... And Let's have Rafael to uh, respond to that. Why is it a point so quickly before I uh, make my point? Uh, has it your point been made? No, okay. I'm, All right. I'm, I'm just Finish your point. Yeah. So, 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 so it is a pattern. We have been there before, Yvonne. It is not the first time we are doing these demonstrations. We have been there before. And it is a clear pattern. Today, the demonstrations were very peaceful. Okay. And I was... All right, Bonawanda, I think the point is made, uh, which is that you're uh, saying that uh, Jubilee is getting favored treatment when it comes to protests with the police. Um, Tuju, is that the case? Uh, you and your party receiving special treatment from the police with respect to protests? Yeah, I mean, it's a bit sad that I'm hearing this from one time. I mean, I <laughs> uh, just think a week ago I was in Kisumu and, um, you know, some of those youth burnt 28 houses. <laughs> um, we know where violence comes from and where people can be very unreasonable. <laughs> beating up people, women, poor women in a, in a seminar. Um, some of them lost their phone calls, uh, their, their telephones. I'm told one of them actually miscarried. There's a dead child because of this. So when you tell me that you're having peaceful demonstrations, Mr. Wandai, you're not being sincere. And when you say that uh, a purported statement by a certain legislator, and you know exactly that it is not a purported statement by a certain legislator. You're trying to paper over it. And the people, I was actually in Gidurai yesterday, and I saw a demonstration. I was driving through the, through the place, they didn't even know who was in the car, we were able to drive out you know, very safely. They were just expressing uh, their displeasure. And you know, let's tell Kenyans, and let's be sincere, 
if the Supreme Court ruling was ruled against Raila, <laughs> I don't know what would have happened. But our supporters behaved very well. No railway lines were uprooted. No roads were blocked. But you're pushing them, eh? And pushing them and pushing them. <laughs> and uh, I feel that us as leaders should be a little bit more restrained so that we don't push people to the edge. OK, <laughs> gentlemen. You obviously realize that Honorable Tuju has not really addressed the issue I was raising. Uh, yeah, the issues here are about demonstrations against specific IBC officials. Not those things you're talking about, Kisumu, burning houses. That's not the issue here, really. And this, this, this idea, this idea of profiling Be honest, Kenyans. it's a certain culture of violence. Yeah. It's this, a certain culture of violence. It's a certain culture of violence that ha you have, you, you know, your leadership has allowed to take root to gain currency, that it is okay to beat women, it is okay to throw stones, it's okay to come with rocks onto the road, it's okay. And you want the rest of Kenya to go that direction. All it right. is a certain culture of violence okay. that you, you, know, you and know, your leadership you know, has right. tried you know, you know, to make you gain currency had, in this country. Uh, okay, Bonatuju, let's hear no, from Honorable Okio. Honorable had the opportunity to represent those people you're talking about uh, at one point in parliament. <laughs> and, and, and he was unable to actually influence the, that culture, if it, in his view, that culture is ab 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 abhorrent. Okay? I so, hope so you can work on it because uh, you leave uh, them he, right he, now. He, I'm not, I'm not an MP, I'm not a member of parliament. Him. Those same people he's talking about uh, rejected him uh, on account of them not believing in his leadership. So, so, so we can't talk about uh, okay. profit. All right, gentlemen, I, are, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think look, uh, look, I, don't, I don't want us to personalize this uh, no, conversation no, no. It's, and to it's remember. Not it's not personal. It's not personal. Uh, you, know, you know, I'm just laughing because Wandai is a beneficiary <laughs> of uh, a rigging culture in CIA. Nobody would, have, <laughs> nobody would elect you, Wandai. Nobody would elect Orengo. You all know how you <laughs> came right. to parliament. Gentlemen. You don't even want us all to right. go there. Gentlemen, uh, I mean, uh, you know, you know, you know, and Mr. Wandai, please. As we speak, I don't know, you can I mean, I mean, gentlemen, I did, I did, we are not <laughs> discussing the issues. <laughs> gentlemen, I will ask that your mics be killed at this moment. I will ask that your mics be silenced, please, yeah. both gentlemen. I'd like us to move away from these issues of personalities and who wins and who doesn't and who's voted in and who's not. The heart of the issue that we're discussing today is what happens at IEBC. So even as we close... Gentlemen, I'd like to uh, hear from you, Mr. Tuju, where you see this whole process going. We've got 29 days to the election. You'll be going for that meeting tomorrow. Um, here last night when we're speaking to David Morade, who's the vice chair um, of your party, he talked about you know, certain um, demands also that the Jubilee has of the IEBC. So what will those be at the meeting tomorrow? Well, in this last election, which were on 8th of August, our candidate, the president, is a victim. His win was snatched away from him because of what the court described as processes, forms, and so forth not being adhered to. So we are complainants, and one of the things that we'd want to be able to address with the IBC to make sure that those mistakes which happened, which resulted in the nullification of our victory do not happen again. I think that is very, very important. But we have a country to run here, so we act with a lot of restraint. If we were to do the kind of things that NASA is doing, I don't think we'll be having a stock market. I don't think we'll be having a foreign exchange, which is still reasonable. I don't think that we'll be having any direct foreign investment. So, you know, they have this license that they can be responsible and uh, childish, and still the country continues. We can't afford that ourselves. We have a country to run. All right. Opio? Uh, from where I sit, and again, going by the Supreme Court uh, judgment, we are certainly the victims of this Bangladesh election. And Honorable Uru Kenyatta is a beneficiary of a fraudulent process. And we insist that for us to go to another round of elections, the conditions we have put forth have to be met. And I also want to assure you, Yvonne, and the whole country, that the demonstrations that started today are not going to end any soon until these conditions are met. In a matter of fact, we plan to have similar demonstrations on Monday next week, and if need be, on Thursday again next week. 
and the subsequent to that, uh, uh, more adversary will be given. So, so this, we are in this for the long haul. And we are not going to treat an election simply as a, some cultural ritual that you go into with a view to just taking the box. An election is a very serious matter that must be conducted in a manner that not only satisfies the citizens, but also is uh, in, uh, in consonant with the constitution and the relevant laws. And, and therefore, uh, what I want to say is that if the conditions are not met, it is clear from where we sit that there will be no elections. And we keep on saying that. And our friends on the other side think we are basically uh, issuing uh, threats. I mean, I think, and, yes. and, and, and we continue to ask the clarification yes. of no elections. Yeah. What does could, that mean? Uh, uh, exactly that. You know, there is no better uh, uh, terminology to use. No elections means no elections. Will you ensure that there are no elections on the 26th uh, Yvonne, of I've October? Said no elections mean no elections, yeah. There's a lot of Kenyans who would yeah. want clarity on that statement. Yeah, they, they, okay, it will become clear as we as, 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 as move along, yeah. May I come in? Yes, please. Yeah. Well, once again, I say that um, you know they have the latitude, the luxury to be responsible. <clears throat> it's a pity that they can make those kind of statements, and it, they, they, it doesn't have much consequence in the sense that uh, they don't care about this country, they don't <laughs> care about the stock market, they don't care about the uh, direct foreign investment, they don't care about anything that really matters to this country for us to make sure that we have prosperity and we have jobs for our children and so forth. But when they say there's no election, the first thing which I, they don't seem to, to understand is that they are cherry picking the aspects of the ruling that they like. The Supreme Court ruled that elections have to be held within the 60 days. Now we have 29 days left. And the Supreme Court was simply confirming and reasserting what is in our constitution. Even the Supreme Court itself did not have the latitude to be able to vary that 60 day period. But, you know, NASA, in their own um, uh, sense of uh, self-importance, they think they're above the Constitution. They are not. Final thoughts? Well, well uh, I think, I think uh, uh, really what must go out there is that Kenyans deserve credible, transparent, fair elections. So there is really no, nothing else that Kenyans want rather than those credible elections. And time is running out for the IBC, I'm afraid to say so, uh, to put in place mechanisms that will ensure the conducting of credible, fair, transparent elections. And when we say that the IBC is going to find itself in a rock and a hard place, it doesn't mean really that we are careless. And nobody should think, even for a moment, that uh, there are more Kenyans than others. All right. That they mean well, they mean, they, 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 that they, 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 they regard the Kenyans uh, more than other people. That uh, they are more concerned about the well-being of Kenya more than others. That's a fallacy. Yeah. All, right. All of us take in this country and we shall live here. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. One minute, uh, Rafael, for your final thoughts. Well, uh, my final thoughts is that um, the irreducible minimums that uh, our friend NASA talk about, uh, even if we addressed all of them, or if they were all addressed, because we really can't address them, it's IBC to address them, even if IBC addressed all of them, uh, I don't, they will still come up with new imini, uh, irreducible minimums. Um, they think they can scare the country, they think they can say there's no election. Who are they to say no elections? <laughs> um, they don't own this country, it belongs to all of us. Uh, they should be well advised that you can't threaten the, the rest of the country. The elections are going to take place. Um, and if at all that they had anything reasonable that they think um, should be changed, they also have a chance to canvass this in the Supreme Court. They could canvass it there. But if they think they're going to canvass it on the streets, um, it's a waste of time. But since they don't have much to do, they don't want to go around the country to actually campaign, they'd rather rabble rouse in Nairobi. Uh, it's OK, because they also know that most of the country, anyway, is running away from them. I mean, we have some of their people moving into Jubilee. I've not seen any Jubilee people going to NASA. There was one of them who, who came from Meru and uh, took a very quick about turn. 
it's a very pathetic situation in which they are, and they know they can't win. And if I was them, I would not want to go for the election because they, they know they're going to lose it. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Thank you, gentlemen. I, I really appreciate your time. Uh, Mr. Uh, Honorable Opio Wandai, who's uh, the Member of Parliament for Ugunja, and Mr. Rafael Tuju, who's the Secretary General for the Jubilee Party. I just want to read some of your feedback. Ken Free Katui says, NASA needs to meet IBC tomorrow and air their issues in a civil way. Chaotic demos um, is a very primitive. Kenya is big. Alan O'Gara says, picketing is allowed and enshrined in the Constitution. Um, I also wouldn't meet with some unfair ref before a rematch. So those are your views. There's much more uh, where that came from. Please look for the hashtag. It's the big story. And uh, on behalf of Sophia Wanuna, who's the lead reporter right here on the big story, and myself and the entire crew, thanks for watching. Tomorrow at 8 p.m. we'll be here again tracking the big story of the day. Good night, everyone.